All right, so this is Derek from Design Visionaries, and we've got a pretty cool little uh, trick for you guys today. We're going to create a variable radius blend on this little casting part, but we're going to control it by using a graph, or really just a sketch in our, in our case here. So I've created a little sketch just off to the side of the part here, and that's where we're going to graph to scale what the radius is going to look like. So then we'll go and use that when we go and create the face blend on this casting. All right, so let me go and edit the sketch first. I'll just open that up. And I'm gonna throw maybe a, a spline onto this, just as if this were a graph, okay? So let me go down here, I'll find our uh, studio spline. And I'm just gonna lay two or three or four points initially, just to make something. So maybe I'll make the edges just a little larger than the center. All right, I'll say okay, and we'll come back to this later if we want to change what this graph looks like. But I'll finish sketch, and we'll use that in our blend. All right, so let's go to the blend. I'll create it with a face blend, which is uh, up here, normally hidden underneath the edge blend. All right, and face blend is really great because it's got so many options in here. So let me reset this, and first let's choose the two face chains. So I'll choose, let's say, this face. I will make sure the arrow is pointing the correct direction inward. And then I'll choose the second face chain on top. And at least it creates a preview for us. All right, see, it's working. All right, but I'm going to change the number of options in here. So I want to make sure in the cross section group it has rolling ball and it's naturally varying of a circular shape. All right, all right, now down here under radius method, this is where we want to change things. I'm going to change this from constant to law controlled. All right. So now it's going to ask a bit more from us. And you'll notice I do have to kind of go backwards a little bit. I got to go back to choose a spine curve. Okay. Well, the spine curve is just going to be this edge between these two faces here. So I'll choose that. And I'm going to come back down to law type. And you'll see there are a number of options in here for convenience like constant, linear, cubic and so on. But I'm going to use this law or by law curve, which is truly a reference to something else, like the sketch we've already created. All right. So I choose by law curve, and then now I'll actually click on it. I'll find it over here. And it's not quite there yet. It might ask you for a baseline. So you notice it's missing something. It still needs this baseline here. So let me clarify the baseline. It's kind of like the uh, the axis on your graph, so I'll just choose this thing, and there it is. All right, so you can see it's varying from very large to small, and then to large again, just like what I graphed over here. All right, and I can always come back and change that. So I'll say OK. All right, and there it is. Now let's change this. I'm going to go over to my sketch, and then you know if this is a casting, I want to change up some of these blends and then put blends on top of these and kind of play around with them. It can be a little bit tedious with a regular edge blend. So this way, I think it's rather fast. So maybe let's increase the radius in the middle a little bit and then maybe decrease on the sides, just as an example. All right, we should watch this change as I finish my sketch. Yep, and there it is. All right, so you can have a lot of fun with this concept of course, you can do many, many things with it, but I think that's a pretty simple, easy way to go about doing it. So, uh, great. Again, thank you. This is uh, Derek, Design Visionaries. Hope you enjoyed.